presses, so you don't have them yet, but they're bringing together a lot of what you already know. And we're gonna take, we're gonna take the theory, and I'm actually gonna show you the EEG that hooks up with it. And so it might take just today, but we might go today and Thursday on this session. It depends on, hey, I know we got some engineers in here, and so some of this is gonna be quick for you, but some of you are very social science, biology oriented, and there's some math, but I try to do it all with pictures. So, so I try to, I try to, I, because really it's the concept, not the equation, that is important. Uh, you can always learn the equation at another time, or if you want, you can ask me about it. But <laughs> yeah. Focus. Huh? Focus. Is it not focused? Not really. No. Mm -hmm. It's fuzzy. I think that's a lighting problem. If you tap on the. It's good now. Yeah, it's okay. Oops. When I say lighting problem, I meant. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> I said I had it out of focus because I thought it looked a lot better, blurry. <laughs> so, this is. You've seen these four before, but now we're going to. We're right here, and I'm going to take you through 17 quick slides, and then we're going to go over to the EEG side of things. And so we'll do that, we'll see how it goes. Now, you've seen this before, yes? You're not gonna show up at all if you're not in, like, right there. Right here? Is that okay? Because it's using the light from the projector to show you up, so if you step anywhere out of the light of the projector, okay. you're not on the screen. I'm more concerned, yeah, let me, I'll turn this on, but if you can't see something I put up here, let me know, okay? I'll turn this other light on. On. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. So you have seen this before. There's nothing new to see here. Today, we're only working on the LGN. And for those of you who didn't get a chance to do the LGN project or accidentally lost yours, or your dog ate it. Um, I do have the materials in my office to stop by and pick them up. You can get them and make it a new one. I realized that the next time I get this project will be in the fall and it won't be Easter. And so I was happy, Jason, when you told me that you needed another section, another one, because I realized I need to get those eggs now because by fall, I'll never find them. <laughs> so thank you. All right, so we're gonna be working with the LGN uh, visual stimuli. It's one of three loops we're gonna be focusing on. We're gonna be looking at this one. We're gonna be looking at the one going from here to the motor nucleus, and we're gonna be looking at the one going from the medial into the limbic and anterior regions. But today, only the lateral geniculate nucleus, because it's the easiest one to understand. And if you recall, here we have our lateral geniculate body, and here it hooks up to the extra uh, to the striate cortex. Why is it called striate? It has it's striated. It is striated. <laughs> it has striations. So what are striations? Little yeah. yeah. Vertical line. stripes. It's stripey, right? It's a fancy word for stripey. And it is actually, you can see it being stripey. Um, and if you were to cut your head open, I don't, don't do that at home. <laughs> do it in class? Yes, just in class. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the basic loop, we've talked about this basic loop. I'm only putting it here to remind you of what this loop looks like. We have been here before and here we have our intralinear medullary nuclei, and here we have coming up through the reticular neuron, the reticular nucleus that is wrapped around the thalamus. And then we come up to these cortical neurons in the cortex. That's the striate cortex that I'm talking about. Those six layers of the visual cortex. So now you can put a name on it. We're gonna go, the LGN's gonna be over on the side, um, 
regular ongoing activity is here, and we're going up to the visual cortex from both sides of the nuclei here. So from both our internal regulatory functions over to our external incoming functions, they're both going to go to the same piece of cortex, layer 17, area 17, and Well, I was really into this image. How does this work with attention? We're going to start with that endogenous loop. And here is the whole loop. And now let's get into it. These are the six layers of that striate cortex. When I talk about layers of the cortex, remember this is from the Telluric map, so it's hand drawn. I'm talking about the gray matter. So this gray matter right here in the striatic cortex. These right here are what's coming from the thalamus. Check it out. Magnocellular and parvocellular layers. Magnocellular processes what kind of information? Spatial. Yeah. And parvo? Tiny too. Way to go. So we've got our big processing, movement processing, and our fine detail processing coming in to the cortex. And then the outgoing piece of the cortex, the output comes back down to other areas of cortex, the visual cortex, also the frontal cortex, and then we have deeper layers going to deep structures in the brain, like the thalamus. And so this is an input-output model. Things come into the gray matter, and then they go out. And this is what this actually looks like. This is Calcery Fisher, and this is from cerebral cortex. I am using their cover image without permission right now, but it is their cover image um, from one year because it's a brilliant image of the cortex. Marcus, watch out, my iPad's right there. And so I don't want you to have, it, have an accident. <laughs> You'll get a different perception of the ongoing all right, and so basically these guys are arranged with stellate neurons. They have widespread dendrites. I think they look like cousin it, frankly. <laughs> They're just all dendrites. There's just a little nucleus and there's dendrite everywhere. And the, the dendrites overlap with one another. And those are the stellate neurons. Kind of like stars or starfish, lots of protrusions everywhere. Huh? Like a sea anemone. Yeah, exactly, like a sea anemone. <laughs> Oops. And then we have these pyramidal neurons. And these are the ones, these guys are going to span the entire layers of the gray matter. And these are the major two kinds, but there are a lot of different kinds of neurons in these six layers. These two kinds, with their widespread dendrites, have kind of get information and overlapping information from a wide variety of areas. And these are kind of like the super highways, getting information from everywhere with pathways coming on them and off them at different junctions. And so, this is of course, from Ramoni to Hall, who still blows my mind, Candy Roy. Not all of the cortex is this neatly organized. This is stripey. It's, it's, it's organized in beautiful columns. Not everything looks this good. We talked about this very briefly. The primary visual cortex, like all other parts, um, has the stratified cellular structure. It's got a really funny name. 